Good afternoon, and welcome to the University of Wisconsin-Madison School of Pharmacy White Coat Ceremony. My name is Tuet Wen, and I currently serve as the president of the Wisconsin Society of Pharmacy Students. Today, I have the honor of being your mistress of ceremonies. At this time, we respectfully ask that you please ensure your microphones are on mute. The microphone icon will be red when it is muted. This afternoon, we recognize 101 first-year student pharmacists as they progress towards their goal of completing the Doctor of Pharmacy program and advance into this incredible profession. Over these last few weeks, you've been introduced to the world of pharmacy. Our profession is very excited to welcome you as colleagues. Each of the lessons you will learn within and outside of the classroom will provide the basis for your future academic and professional work. This afternoon serves many purposes. We are here to celebrate your many accomplishments that have brought you to this day and to taking your first step into this profession. We hope by the end of this afternoon, you will wear your white coat with pride and a passion for the profession. To begin the ceremony, it is my pleasure to introduce Stephen Swanson, Dean of the School of Pharmacy. We have a proud, engaged, uh, uh, in support of alumni who in recent months, uh, 150 of them contributed over $30,000 to the Student Success and Support Fund, which supports you and events like this one. They're passionate about developing the next generation of pharmacists who continue the strong tradition of excellence in pharmacy here in Wisconsin. Our newest addition to the school is a wonderful group of students who make up the class of 2024. Here's a little bit about them. There are 102 individuals with outstanding academic and extracurricular accomplishments. They have an average cumulative GPA of 3.58. About three quarters are Wisconsin residents with the remainder hailing from all over the country and around the world. About two thirds are women, a little over half of them hold bachelor's degree, and about a quarter are first generation students. 17% of our students are students of color, including 8% who are underrepresented minorities. Congratulations on your accomplishments thus far. And congratulations to our families, particularly your mothers and fathers. I'm sure they're very proud of you and rightly so. Family and loved ones, you've played a critical role in preparing our students as healthcare leaders. You've instilled in them a strong work ethic commitment to excellence, accountability, and key to their future roles in healthcare, compassion, and a passion to serve others. These kinds of values are foundational for their work as difference makers in the community and in patients' health. Thank you, families, for all the life lessons you've instilled in these fine young people. And students, today you begin your life as a caregiver, which is a truly awesome responsibility. You are part of one of the best schools of pharmacy in the world. And if you think about the advanced state of pharmacy today and our school's place in it, you'll realize that you're part of one of the greatest schools of pharmacy in human history. You're now part of one of the great intellectual communities located here at UW-Madison at the very vanguard of healthcare. I speak for the entire faculty when I say that not only do each and every one of you belong in this community, but you will carry it forward to new heights. One day, not so far off, students in your position today will wonder if they will be able to live up to the standards of the class of 2024. So keep striving for excellence, Godspeed, and on Wisconsin. To what? Thank you, Dean Swanson. Next, I would like to introduce Stephanie Chang, Professional professionalism co-chair of the Wisconsin Society of Pharmacy Students and co-facilitator of today's event. Thank you, Tuet. Thank you all for joining us today as we celebrate your advancement into your professional careers. I am excited to see how much you all will continue to grow as students, leaders, and as a class over the upcoming years. Today, I have the honor of introducing our keynote speaker, Justin, Dr. Justin Conkle. Dr. Conkle is a 2006 graduate from the UW-Madison School of Pharmacy. 
He was the first of his five proud Congo pharmacist brothers who followed in his footsteps to graduate from UW Madison School of Pharmacy. Upon graduation, he completed a pharmacy practice residency and health system pharmacy administration residency at Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. Dr. Conco has served on the leadership team of the Freighter and Medical College of Wisconsin Health System, serving as the Director of Pharmacy and Oncology Service Line at the Academic Hospital, as well as the Residency Coordinator. He is an active member of several pharmacy organizations, including the Pharmacy Society of Wisconsin, American Society of Health Systems Pharmacists, and Vizient's Academic Pharmacy Network, and of course, the Pharmacy Alumni Association. Dr. Conco was named the Pharmacy Alumni Association Young Alumnus of the Year in 2020. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Justin Conco. All right, can you guys hear me? I always gotta do a sound check in these different situations. Somebody give me a little type in the box maybe, can you guys hear? Thank you. Well, thanks everybody for uh, inviting me to give a few remarks today. Um, I was told I have about, I think Dean said I have about two hours to kind of review the history of pharmacy here for you guys today. So I'm really excited about doing that. I know there's nothing else you'd rather be doing on a Saturday afternoon and the last day of our Indian summer. So uh, strap in, grab a beverage, and we'll start with the history lesson here. But in all reality, um, yes, that was a joke. Uh, so, but just want to say, you know, congratulations to all of you who are here today. Also to those uh, family members, moms, dads, grandma and grandpas, maybe brother and sisters that are hanging out at home on the couch watching, well, watching the white coat ceremony, but maybe there's a football game on and back. Thanks for, for all of you joining us today. Um, just, but really just want to congratulate uh, all of you, the class of 2024, on really a remarkable step. Um, the white coat ceremony is really that introduction into the pharmacy world, pharmacy, I would say family or pharmacy, as a lot of us like to refer to it at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Um, as Stephanie kind of said, I come from a, a family. I have uh, four younger brothers who are all practicing pharmacists across the state of Wisconsin. And then we always like to joke, my mom, my sister, my three sister-in-laws, they're all nurses. So when we ha are sitting at the Christmas uh, table, um, there's a lot of uh, vi uh, vi vibrant conversation going on in regards to healthcare. So my poor dad, who is a education major and actually worked as an agriculture teacher and a supervisor at a food store, you know, he, he really loves hearing all of the great stuff about pharmacy and nursing, but I think I want to, you know, they recognize me as a young pharmacist, and I think Dr. Porter and Dr. Thiesfeld, who you'll hear from, they'll probably joke about it. You know, um, we've known each other uh, for probably, what, five years, about five years, four times over. Um, so I think I just made the cutoff by like two weeks as being called young. Um, so, you know, I've been in the profession for about 15 years and trying to think about, you know, a message for you guys today that will hopefully resonate that you can take back with you. And as you, you know, you go through your pharmacy school into your advanced practice experiences, to jobs, to residencies, to your profession. I think the one thing um, that I, I want to share with you a little bit is, is kind of a reflection of what's happened in this past year. And so everybody jokes that, you know, we all want to forget about 2020 and it's a crazy year. You guys are sitting here doing your white coat ceremony from maybe your apartment, your homes. Um, but the world is a very different place than what it used to be. And I think um, the, the biggest challenge that we're, we're going to continue to face is that our patients' worlds are a different place for them as well. Um, we, we talk about social injustice. We talk about people losing their jobs, not being able to afford health care. We talk about people just struggling with, you know, anxiety and stress on what's going to happen next week, the following week. Will my, will my kid be in school? Will they be home? And I think in the world today, there's just a lot of unrest, anxiety, and, you know, and stress that people are dealing with. And they're really looking to, you know, others to help them through this time. And again, if you think about our patients, uh, not knowing when the next paycheck is going to come, not knowing how they're going to afford their medication, not knowing how they're going to be able to afford maybe, you know, their food that they've been working, you know, on, on dieting plans with their diabetes management. Um, they're going to be looking to you guys. They're going to be looking, you know, pharmacists are the most accessible healthcare professional out there. And again, you're going to get a lot of knowledge thrown at you these next couple of years, right? Pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, um, pharmacology, 
But at the end of the day, what's going to make you guys, I think, the most successful and what I want you to continue to think about as you work through all these clinical classes and, again, the sciences is that at the end of the day, the biggest thing right now that our patients need, yes, they need smart individuals who can help them with their health care, their med management, but they also need somebody to listen to them and care about them. And what the University of Wisconsin School of Pharmacy is going to teach you is they're not just going to teach you all the special things about, again, the sciences, drug delivery. They're going to teach you how to be caregivers, as Dean Swanson said, and be, be real with your patients. Understand what they're going through. Be a listening ear. Take the five minutes. And yes, you know what? Retail pharmacy is a tough world. We have people at Walgreens and other your, your chain box stores, you know, filling four or 500 prescriptions a day, busy. But what I would challenge each one of you is, again, be that advocate for your patient. Listen to them, encourage them, support them, um, help them find the resources that they need during these very troubling times. And this is not something that's going to you know, change in the next year to two years. It's going to be an evolution. I think we've really hit a, a, a time in our kind of, I would say, healthcare history that there's going to be a lot of things changing, right? With telehealth, telepharmacy, virtual visits. We'll, ab- we'll be able to see our patients, um, you know, over a phone, over a computer, um, more than we ever have in the coming years. But at the end of the day, they're still going to look to you to be compassionate, to listen to them, and work to them, work with them. I know you'll be great at what you do this year and and in your future years. I know this uh, school will teach you how to do all of that. Um, so again, what I want to just leave with you today is make sure through all of the thick and the thin, be good to each other, be compassionate to your teammates, your classmates, your professors. Uh, this will be a great experience for you for the next four years. You're going to have, a, again, a family that you'll be able to work, look back on, reach out to. Again, 20 years removed, and you know, I would say all the people pretty much talking on this phone call are colleagues or friends of mine that continue to support me to this day, and that's what's special about this school. So again, congratulations on really an an achievement upon itself. Um, Parents, thanks for your continued support of of your your daughter or your son. Um, And and again, I think just uh, enjoy the celebration today. I would love to be there with you, clinking glasses, sharing a handshake or two. I'll be doing that virtually with you. Um, But again, that's my message for today. I want to leave you uh, again with just a, a heartfelt congratulations. Uh, when you guys get the chance at some point in your, hopefully in the next couple of years at either a state meeting, society meeting, uh, I'd like to participate, stop on by, shake my hand, introduce yourself, would love to, you know, help you out, give you advice, or just cheers you on for the next couple of years. So uh, I leave you with that. Congratulations. Have a great rest of the ceremony. Um, and on Wisconsin, baby. Thank you, Dr. Conkel. Um, you are truly an inspiration to our students as practicing pharmacists and an alumnus. So we, we thank you for your dedication to our profession. Um, so now it is time for the coding ceremony. Allow me to introduce and hand over the program to Dr. Professor Beth Martin, Professor Andrea Porter, and Professor Kevin Look, who will be introducing the members of the class of 2024. During this momentous occasion, we will ask that all WebEx attendees remain muted until your name is called. Each student will share a message of gratitude before being coded. Please follow along in the program for the coding order. Students, if you haven't already done so, please turn on your cameras. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say thank you to my wonderful husband, Benjamin, as well as my family. And it would not be without, um, it would not, without their love and support, I would not um, have made it to pharmacy school. So I thank them very much.
John Adams. Hi, everyone. I just want to give a special thanks to my friends and family. Without their love and support, I want to be here today. And special thanks to my roommate for coding me today. Thanks, buddy. Justin Arts. My friends, the chemistry faculty at St. Arbor College, and my amazing family. I certainly would not be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Gabriel Barrias. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be here participating in this year's white coat ceremony, and I just wanted to take the time to thank my parents, my grandparents, and the rest of my family watching on stream. Thank you for your love and support. Arson Bijanov. Everyone, um, I'd like to give my thanks, uh, especially to my mom, my friends, my family, uh, for giving me the confidence to, to push the button and take a chance at pharmacy school. And my friend Tice for coding me today. <laughs> Thank you. Caitlin Bembanek. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my parents and all my family and friends for supporting me and getting me to where I am today. Hannah Fischel. Hi, everyone. I have my mom coding me today, and I'd like to thank my parents, my grandpa, and the rest of my family for always supporting me. Brandon Bojar. Hi, everyone. I would just like to thank my friends and family for all their support and my dad for coding me today. Madison Brendan. Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank my family and friends for their love and support to get me to where I am today. Ooh. Elizabeth Brewster. I would like to thank my family and my friends, both here um, in college with me and in my hometown, and for my community for always supporting me. Dakota Brockman. Hi, everybody. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and all my teachers through the years. I will be coded by my roommate, Balin Welch. Hi, everyone. Oh, Alice, that's okay. Allison Brost. Hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to express my gratitude to my family, friends, mentors, and all others who have encouraged me and really fostered my individual and intellectual growth. I feel very fortunate to be surrounded by so much love and support. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Emily Brost. Hello, everyone. I would like to thank my friends and family for supporting me on getting to pharmacy school, and I will be having my brother Jacob coat me today. Hi, I'd like to thank my oh, family. Patrick, my let me sister. introduce you. Patrick. Oh. Patrick Bujat. I'd like to thank my family and my support system for always being by my side, pushing me to do better every day. Oh, 
Kane Karstens. Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank my parents, my grandparents, my brothers for their unending support in my journey to pharmacy school. McKay Karstens. Hello, everyone. I want to take this moment to recognize my family. They have shown me nothing but endless support. And to them, I want to say thank you. Or thank you. Grayson Cooley. Hello, everybody. I just want to say uh, a special shout out to my mom. Thank you so much for doing everything you do. I love you so much. Also, shout out to my family who's tuning in, Bryn, Cannon, uh, my dad, and everybody else. Thank you so much for all you do. I wouldn't be here without you. Cody me today is my uh, roommates. We have Bryce Wagner, Willem Weigel, and Megan Lombardi. <laughs> Joseph Crahan. Hi there. I just wanted to thank uh, each and every one of my friends and family members uh, who helped me get to where I am today. Uh, Mom, Dad, Matt, all my siblings, grandparents, my best friends, and so many more. Thank you. Hi everyone, I just want to thank my family and friends and especially my parents for getting me to where I am today. Today I'll have my book, Gino Colton. And this is Samantha DeBartolo. <laughs> Bumaka Devnani. Um, hi guys. Um, I would just like to thank my entire family, my mom, dad, and my sister for um, always supporting me, guiding me. They're awesome. I love you guys. Um, shout out to my friends who are watching live. Um, yeah. Woohoo! Congratulations, Bumika! Woohoo! Tom Drummond. Hi, thanks. Uh, I'd just like to extend my gratitude to my friend's family for supporting me and managed to get me here. Without them, that would not have been possible. Chris Ebert. I would like to thank my family for all their support, and I will be coded by my parents. Nick Ebert. Oh. Yeah, I'm thankful for my family too. And I just got coded by my parents. You might have saw it, but yeah. Amanda Egbert. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to thank my parents, my family, and friends for supporting me as I start pharmacy school, and I'm getting coded by my dad today. Vincent Elijah. Hello, everybody. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that has supported me this far, especially my mother, big brother Victor, Brian, my friend, and my sweet wife who's going to coat me today. Yeah. 
Anna Erickson. Hi everyone. I just wanted to thank the School of Pharmacy for giving me this opportunity and my friends and family for helping me get here. So my mom and dad are going to cope me today. <laughs> Madeline Fisher. I just want to thank all my friends and family for helping me get to where I am today. And coding me today will be my mom and my dad and all of my roommates are here to watch. Catherine Freitag. Hello, I would like to thank my family, friends, and everyone else who has helped me get to this place. And my mom and my dad are going to quote me today. Kirsten Gasser. I just wanted to thank my friends and family for supporting me and my mom for coding me today. Maria Golovkina. I'd like to thank my family for supporting me in all that I do and for pointing me in the direction of pharmacy in the first place. And today I'll be coded by my mom. Kara Graves. Hi, everyone. I would like to thank my family for their unconditional love and support because I would not be here today without it. And I am being coded by my mom. Sarah Haley. I'd like to thank all my family and friends for all the support along the way on my journey. And I have my parents coding me today. Libby Holma. Hi, I just want to give a big thank you to my friends and family uh, for all their support in my journey to pharmacy school. Um, and I'm going to be coded today by my mom. Kara Halgason. Hi, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank my entire family, friends, and those who have helped me along the way to get to where I am today. Also, a special thank you to my dad for coding me. <laughs> Catherine Hemisoth. Hello, everyone. I would just like to say thank you to all my friends, family, and everyone that supported me throughout this process to get to pharmacy school. And today, my dad is coding me. Paige Hergenrother. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to quick thank all my friends and family for their support throughout the years. Maria Hill. Hi, I'd like to thank all my friends and family who are tuning in virtually. Your support means everything to me. And I'd like to thank my parents who are here to quote me, my sister, Christina, and my roommates, Aziza and Serena. Your unconditional love and support means everything. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you. Joyce Hugh. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my amazing family and friends and my dog for supporting me all these years. And I'd like to thank my boyfriend, Drew, for coding me today. 
Hi everyone. Shane? I just wanna hold on, hold oh, on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too excited. <laughs> yeah. Shane Hughes. I just want to thank everyone, uh, family and friends, as well as my ups and downs in, in life that has led me to this point today. Um, most importantly, most importantly, this is for my mom who is looking down on me today and always. And I'm going to have my sister cope me today. Joe Jarrett. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my wonderful husband, Tim, who's watching on the big screen. Hi, honey. And my kids and my friends and family. Without your support, I wouldn't be here today. Um, and for my brother, growing up was my inspiration. If your body would have allowed you, you would have been a doctor. So Arlen, this is for you. And today I'm being coded by my housemates who are DPH3 students. <laughs> Magdalena Jasinska. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me get here today and my roommate Laura for coding me. Jake Johnson. Hi, everyone. I'd like to give a special thanks to my parents, who I would not be here today without them. Sang Kim. Um, hi, I would like to thank my family and friends for their continuous support on getting me to a pharmacy. Juliana Keeker. Hi, everyone. Today, I would like to thank my parents and friends for supporting me throughout my journey in becoming a student pharmacist. Today, my sister, Katie Keeker, PharmD 2017, will be coding me. Michaela Larkin. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my family and my boyfriend for always supporting me and my grandpa for encouraging me to follow in his footsteps. Angela Lee. Hi, I'd like to thank my friends and family for all their support and prayers so that I can stand here as a pharmacy student today. Lindsay Leverens. I want to thank my family and friends, especially my parents and my husband and kids grandparents and siblings for all being my cheerleaders. And I'm being coded today by my husband and three boys. My husband and three boys are going to cope me today. I'm waiting for the video. Go for it, Lindsay. I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't see myself on the video. Looking good. <laughs> Jenny Lynn. Hi, everyone. I want to thank all of my friends and family for supporting me every step of the way. Ashley Lindert. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my parents, my family, and my friends for the endless support. Today, I will have my mom and my stepdad cope me.
Matthew Leshack. Thank you. Uh, just want to say what an honor it is to be here today. A uh, quick shout out to all my friends and family who've supported me along the way, and then especially my parents and my wife, Ada, who's going to be coding me today. Thanks for all your support. Benjamin Lorgi. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends and family for supporting me all the way to pharmacy school. Sylvia Los. Hi everyone, I want to thank all my friends, family, and past mentors. Um, this is my friend Leah, who's going to be coding me. Hannah Lovestead. Hi everyone, I want to thank my mom who is coding me today and my dad, I want to recognize him. Um, he's no longer with us, but I know he would be so proud to be watching today. And my grandma who's watching right now, hi grandma, thanks for being my best supporter. Scott Lucy. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, and my beautiful girlfriend who is coding me today. Taylor Leader. Hi everyone. I can't begin to thank all of my wonderful friends and family enough for all the continued support. Cindy Lund. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you to my mom for being here today and she's coding me. And then I also wanted to say thank you to my grandma. They both have made a lot of sacrifices for me to be here. Thank you. John McDonald. Hi everyone. I'd like to thank my friends and family for all their support throughout the, the years. Alexis Marcon. Hi, everyone. I would like to thank my friends and family for their continued support. I've been very fortunate to have parents that have been willing to do whatever it takes in order to get me to pharmacy school. Today, I'll be coded by my mom and my dad. Natalie McCourt. Hi everyone, today I would like to give a special shout out to my parents, all my family, my friends, uh, my educators, and all other supporters who have gotten me this far. Today I'll be coded by my parents. Family weekend, I'm Wisconsin. Mark Miller. Hi everyone, uh, I would just like to thank my wife and family for encouraging me throughout all my undergraduate career. I've received so much support from all of them, especially through this pandemic. Uh, quoting me today is my wife, Sarah, who's been lovingly by my side throughout this entire process. <clears throat> Braden Muck. Hello, I would like to give a quick shout out to all my family who's here with me, mom, dad, sister, aunt, uncle, cousin, and all everyone back home watching, my grandparents, and I even got my friends here.
Benjamin Muron. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to all my family, friends, uh, loved ones, and mentors for all the support they've given me throughout the years. Uh, without them supporting me, I definitely wouldn't be here, and I uh, thank the school for giving me the opportunity to pursue my dream. I will be coded by my sister. Joey Nered. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to my aunt and uncle that are watching via Facebook and all of my family members here. I think my sister will be coding me today. <laughs> Clara Nickel. Hi everyone, I would like to thank my wonderful friends and family. Without all your love and support, I wouldn't be here today. Special thanks to my sister, Ellie, who will be coding me today. Michael Nome. Hi, everyone. Uh, I would like to use this opportunity to thank God, my family, my mom, my dad, friends, professors that have been instrumental throughout my academic journey, and a special thanks to the Sony, Charles, and Emeka Ozuku family. I appreciate all your love and support. Thank you very much. Jenna Nordine. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my family and my friends for all their love and support. I'll be coded by my mom today. Molly O'Connell. Hi, everyone. I'd like to say congratulations to my fellow classmates. I'd also like to thank my friends and family who have supported me along the way. And a special thank you to my parents who have, um, who I have the honor of being coded by today. Evan Olapo. Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be here. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God as well as my parents, friends, and family for supporting me and getting me to this point. I'll be quoted by my father. Congratulations. Caroline Paley. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my family and friends who believed in me and supported me to get where I am today. I love you guys more than you'll ever know. And I will be coded by my lovely roommates today. Ruchita Patel. Hello, everyone. I would like to thank my family, especially my uncle and aunt, cousins, parents, my grandparents, and my brother, Kayir, for supporting me and getting helping me get where I am today. Thank you. Kari <laughs> Patterson. Hi, everyone. I want to thank my family for always encouraging me and the pharmacists and coworkers that I've worked with over the years who encouraged me to pursue this journey. And I'm really excited to have my mom here to cope me. <laughs> Morgan Paul. Hello everyone. I wanna thank my friends and family for coming to this event, and my parents will be coding me today. Woo! 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 Brooke 
Brooklyn Peterson. Hi, everybody. I just want to thank my family and friends for getting here to this point today, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. My mom will be coding me today. Courtney Peterson. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my friends and family for supporting me and my mom for coding me today. Joseph Phillips. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my parents who are here with me today for their love and support. Ready to go, Jim? Stetson Patrikas. Hey, everyone. I am thankful for my friends and family who have been there since the beginning supporting me. And here's my mom coding, uh, coding me. <laughs> Tess Cribble. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank you for helping me get here today. And I'd like to thank my boyfriend for coding me. Trevor Rawson. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, and my girlfriend for pushing me so hard to get here. Love you guys. <laughs> Dylan Rothbauer. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, my own focus and my father who will be born. Alyssa Ruby. Hi everyone. I wanted to thank my friends and my family, especially my parents who are watching right now. Um, for helping me on my journey to get to pharmacy school, and especially to my boyfriend who, who will be coding me today. Dolan Psalm. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I feel so fortunate and privileged to be here today. Um, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to my family. I've got my parents behind me coding me today. My roommate who's here, my siblings. Um, I really couldn't have done it without y'all. Um, thank you to my girlfriend who's watching from her apartment. Um, I'm really fortunate. Woo I'm Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Scanlon. Hello, everyone. I would just like to say thank you to my parents, my grandparents, my sister, my boyfriend, my friends, and my peers. I wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything that I have today without my support system. So thank you. And today, my dad is going to coat me. Hope Sheer. Hi, I'd like to congratulate all of my peers and give a big shout out to my family and friends for always supporting me. Coding me today is my mom. Laura Sight. Hi everyone, I want to thank my friends and family and especially my parents for always supporting and encouraging me. I would not be where I am today without them and my parents are coding me today. Eliana Salim. Hi, I would like to thank all my friends and family for their endless love and support. You all have shaped me into who I am today.
Janvi Shah. Hi. I just want to give a big shout out to my friends and family and um, my parents and brother for being able to come over um, and visit me for the ceremony. And a big shout out to my aunts, uncles, and cousins as well. I'll also be coded by my mom and dad. Woo! <laughs> Leanne Saraki. Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank my parents, my friends, and family for pushing me and for encouraging me to reach my dream as of becoming a pharmacist someday. And my mom will be coding me. Samantha Score. Hi everyone, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my friends and family for all of their love and support. I wish you guys were here today, but I hope to see you guys soon. Love you. I'll be coded by my parents today. Woo! Woo! Kendall Smith. Hi everyone. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and faculty for helping me on this journey. Thank you. Kylie Steinke. Hello everyone. I would like to thank my family and friends for supporting and encouraging me throughout my journey to pharmacy school. Um, special thanks to my friend, Cindy, for coding me today. Brandon Stevens. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to thank my family for supporting me and pushing me to be the best person I can be. I also want to thank my lovely girlfriend, Bree, for coding me today. Aaron Stockhausen. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my friends and family for supporting me and helping me get to this point. Will Strauss. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for their unconditional support and love for me. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. Um, and then my roommate, Evan, is going to be coding me today. Look at the mate. Madeline Schubert. Hi, I'd like to say thank you to my parents and my sister and the rest of my family and the friends for supporting me throughout my journey and into pharmacy school. Today I have my Yai and Papu and my Coco and Papa coding me. Peyton Ward. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'd just like to thank all my friends and family for all the love and support over the years. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Julia Weber. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank all of my family and friends for all of their love and support, especially my mom, who's coding me today. Isabel Weidig. Hi, everyone. I would just like to thank my friends and family for helping me get to where I am today. Amy Wolf. Hi, everyone. I would like to thank my parents, grandparents, and siblings who are watching from home today. I wouldn't be here without you. And I want to give a special thanks to my sister for coding me today. 
Thank you. Canary Chong. Hi, everyone. I would just like to thank my parents, uh, my family, uh, friends, and my mentors for getting me this far. Today with me, I have my husband coding me. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> 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 Judy Zhang. Hi everyone, I would like to thank all my friends and families for their support and my sister for coding me today. Jared Zilke. Hi everyone, I would like to thank my friends, family, and the pharmacy staff members that I work with for their support and encouragement and everything I did to be with you guys today. And I will be coded by my roommate, Patrick. All right. Congratulations, class of 2024. Receiving your white coat is quite an accomplishment. Um, always remember that even though times may get tough, you always have your pharma lady to lean on. Um, I would now like to welcome Haley Thompson, professionalism co-chair of the Wisconsin Society of Pharmacy Students and co-facilitator of today's event. Hello, everyone. Today is monumental because it marks your official entrance into the pharmacy profession. As you look into the future, I want to highlight the importance of living in the present. You have all worked so very hard to get here. So make sure to celebrate your accomplishments, celebrate your hard work, and make sure you celebrate today. Now I'd like to transition into your class on code, which you have created and pledged to follow. During your first few weeks of pharmacy school, you developed a list of values as a class to guide you to become the pharmacist that you will strive to be. Through group discussions and collaborative efforts, you produced a pledge to guide you on your journey to becoming pharmacists. In this pledge, you set standards for yourselves, such that to your community, you set some to promote a safe and caring environment through activists, for faculty and other healthcare providers. You will keep up with changes in the field of pharmacy in order to educate others and improve patient care. For your peers, you will create a culture that fosters compassion and empathy while supporting each other as healthcare professionals. And most importantly for yourselves, you will challenge yourselves as healthcare professionals and become involved with the community. I now ask that you guys keep your microphones muted, but please join me in reciting the first portion of your Doctor of Pharmacy class of 2024 honor code. This will outline your conduct towards patients. For everyone watching and those who would like to follow along, this can be found in the ceremony program. We, as healthcare professionals in the field of pharmacy, pledge the following. To our patients, we will educate ourselves about cultural differences and be aware of our implicit bias in order to provide equitable and excellent care to all. You will treat patients with compassion, empathy, and respect to ensure that they feel safe, comfortable, and understood while in our care. Advocate for and safeguard patient health and privacy. Apply all of your knowledge and resources to educate patients about their treatment plans in order to promote the best health outcomes. Thank you, class of 2024. All right, thank you, Haley. I would now like to introduce Dr. Melissa Thiesfeld. Dr. Thiesfeld is the current president of the Pharmacy Society of Wisconsin. The Pharmacy Society of Wisconsin supports Wisconsin's student pharmacists through providing resources and advocating for pharmacy practice and advancement. Dr. Thiesfeld is the Director of Experiential Education and Associate Professor of Pharmacy Practice at Concordia University, Wisconsin School of Pharmacy. She attended the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where she earned a Bachelor of Science degree and her Doctorate of Pharmacy degree. She then completed two years of residency at Schrader Hospital in Milwaukee in pharmacy practice and health system pharmacy administration. In her current role, 
Dr. Seesfeld is responsible for the design, coordination, implementation, and evaluation of all introductory and advanced pharmacy practice experiences at Concordia. In addition, she serves as a faculty advisor for Concordia students and as a faculty mentor for pharmacy residents and students completing academic rotations. Dr. Thiesfeld is also an active member of AACP, ASHP, and the Greater Milwaukee College of Clinical Pharmacy. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Melissa Thiesfeld. Thank you, Tuet. As a UW School of Pharmacy alum and the current president of the Pharmacy Society of Wisconsin, it's my distinct pleasure to join all of you today as you begin your professional careers. The white coats that you just received are a symbol of the commitment that you are making to the patients that you will take care of, their families, and other members of the healthcare team. You are committing not just to four years of school, you are committing to serving others who need you for your expertise, your listening skills, and your ability to help them navigate our ever complicated healthcare system. No matter where your career goes, your white coat will go with you and remind you of the commitment that you made today. Pharmacy is truly a dynamic and rewarding profession, and you're joining this profession at a really crucial time. Pharmacists are no longer just standing behind a counter and handing out prescriptions. We are taking on advanced roles, administering vaccines and other injectable medications, prescribing some medications, and collaborating with other healthcare professionals. Our patients and our society are facing some really tough healthcare challenges today. COVID-19 has certainly been a focus for everyone in recent months and has challenged all aspects of our lives. Pharmacists are going to be important contributors in the future to help resolve this public health crisis. We'll be there to optimize treatment regimens, develop and administer vaccines, and educate the public. But COVID's not the only healthcare challenge we face. The opioid epidemic, expansion of telehealth services, drug pricing transparency, access to care, and payment for pharmacist services challenge us to change our practice, change our roles, and change how we take care of patients. But with all of these changes come opportunity. Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple once said, innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not as a threat. I think it's so important that all of us, whether we are students, pharmacists, or technicians, embrace this mindset. Change really is an opportunity. It's scary and it's overwhelming and it's time consuming and it's hard, but change is definitely an opportunity. It's an opportunity to be at the forefront of some really important healthcare solutions. It's an opportunity to be visible in our communities and serve patients who might not have other access to healthcare. And it's an opportunity to improve the lives of others around us. Now more than ever, the profession of pharmacy needs you, the members, all of the members of the class of 2024. We need your ideas, we need your energy, and we need your enthusiasm. You guys are all vital in the change that we want to see in pharmacy, both in Wisconsin and across the country. You aren't just students in pharmacy school right now. You are the individuals who have new solutions and who can see new ways to do what we've always done. You can speak up when you have an idea and you can embrace new pharmacist and technician roles. You can be the drivers of change and opportunity for our profession. The next few months and years will look different than what you envisioned when you first thought about attending pharmacy school. Your classrooms, your exams, study groups, jobs, and your social activities have all changed. But let me reiterate that you can turn this change into opportunity, an opportunity to grow both as a person and as a professional and an opportunity to explore all that the profession of pharmacy has to offer. 
The white coat that you receive today is a tangible and visible reminder of this opportunity. Every time you put your white coat on, remember today's ceremony and remember that change isn't something to be scared of. When you put on that white coat, you are opening opportunities for your patients. PSW is Wisconsin's home for pharmacists, technicians, and students. And as an organization, we are thrilled to welcome the class of 2024 to the profession today. As I close, I want to reiterate the simple yet profound vision of PSW. Together, we can inspire each other to advance our profession and enhance the lives of our patients. I'm really excited to get to know all of you and see the impact that you will have on our profession. You are all innovators with the ability to see change as opportunity and transform the future of pharmacy. Congratulations, everyone, and on Wisconsin. Thank you, Dr. Thiesfeld. Next, it is with great pleasure that I, in, I invite Dr. Jason Burks-Bacon, the president of the Pharmacy Alumni Association to address our students. The Pharmacy Alumni Association gives back to students in a variety of ways, such as providing funds for students to attend state and national conferences. Dr. Jason Burks-Bacon currently practices as a clinical oncology pharmacist and serves as the pharmacy coordinator for UW Health. Dr. Burks Bacon received his Doctor of Pharmacy degree from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Following graduation, he completed two years of residency in pharmacy practice and oncology at UW Health. In his current role, Dr. Burks Bacon serves as secretary for UW Health's institutional committee charged with review and approval of chemotherapy regimens for the treatment of adult malignancy. He has been um, highly involved with the implementation of multiple practice advancement initiatives. Dr. Burks Bacon will be leading the students in reciting the oath of a pharmacist. Students, the oath can be found on the back of the history pamphlet in your white coat, which was provided by the American Institute of History of Pharmacy. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Burks Bacon. Uh, thanks so much. Um, thanks for inviting me today. Really a privilege um, to be here. Um, I, I peruse the agenda. It appears I'm uh, the one standing between you and all the celebrations you have planned. So maybe one benefit of this, uh, this setup is we can get started a little bit early. So um, it's, uh, again, really just a, a privilege um, to be able to congratulate you all um, on behalf of all of the proud alumni um, of the school. Um, this is certainly a big day, um, which, been, which has been highlighted, I think, um, kind of looking back on your training and your career, um, my guess is this is one that you'll definitely remember. Um, certainly, it, it's, it looks a little bit different than probably um, you would have envisioned, but I think um, really encouraged to see all the, the perseverance, adaptability, um, all the energy that uh, everyone's brought today. Um, it's really um, encouraging uh, and motivating to see that. So. Um, this is where I typically would say, you know, thank your loved ones, um, but uh, it's obviously a little different this year. I think it's actually really cool to have it set up this way. Um, you, you're, you'll hear it a lot that pharmacy uh, is a family, and it was really cool um, to see uh, and invite you as part of our family and, and everyone else along, along with it um, as extended members. Um, I did want to just briefly uh, talk a little bit about um, the Pharmacy Alumni Association, uh, who we are and what we do. Um, so PAA, we are, uh, again, the, the alumni group of the school. Um, we are comprised of all graduates, um, so there's no membership fee. Um, once you graduate from the school, you automatically become a member. Um, we do have a board, uh, which includes um, new practitioner members, so we do try to get, um, get you involved um, right after you graduate. And again, we're really just proud um, of our network and, and really think that that's one of the, the best things about the University of Wisconsin, so really try to continue um, to, to bring that network together um, through a number of, of activities. Um, so what do we do? So um, our biggest goal is to support you as students. Um, we all were past students, so we recognize the challenges um, and, and rewards that that, that brings. So um, you know, how, do we, how do we support you? So certainly through um, scholarships um, that we do a number of fundraisers to support, as well as just little things around the school, um, ice cream socials, 
um, things like that. We try to just um, make you aware that as alumni, we're really we're always um, behind you. Um, we also hold a number of events. So our biggest ones are our annual summer golf outing and our fall uh, tailgate. Um, of course, uh, in the current um, climate, um, those were not able to be held this year. But um, please stay tuned for um, some ideas that we have of hopefully some virtual opportunities. Um, to, to, to network. So um, believe it or not, these four years are going to go really fast. So um, really want to encourage you to hopefully get involved with us um, right after graduation uh, with the PAA. Um, so at this time, we're, we're um, going to take uh, an oath. Um, hopefully you had a chance to review this. Um, uh, I did uh, as well. I think I wanted to just call out a couple of things that I, that I wanted to highlight. Um, in here, um, we're going to be um, pledging uh, to always consider um, the welfare of humanity, um, hold yourselves to the highest moral, ethical, and legal principles, um, as well as to prepare um, the next generation of pharmacists. So um, I think those three lines in particular really stuck out to me. And you know what a what a privilege, um, and also what an opportunity um, that we have um, to do those things. So. Um, so we'll start that now. Again, just a reminder, um, keep your mics muted for this portion and um, I'll lead it and we'll just um, have you follow along where, where you're at. So. so the oath of the pharmacist. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfilling this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. I will accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our profession's moral ethical and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experiences, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Uh, so with that, again, um, heartfelt congratulations. Um, welcome to the family. I'm Wisconsin. Thank you, Dr. Birch Bacon. And congratulations again to the class of 2024 on your great accomplishment today. On behalf of the School of Pharmacy, we'd like to thank all of our guest speakers and the class of 2024. For closing remarks, I invite Ariana Double. Stephanie Chang and Haley Thompson, co-facilitators of this afternoon's ceremony to speak. We would like to thank the individuals that made planning this year's white coat ceremony a success. Students, the coats that you now proudly wear. Were donated by UW-Madison School of Pharmacy alumni. In your pockets, you may find donor cards with the name of the pharmacist who donated your coat. We would like to recognize additional donors and thank those alumni for their philanthropy. Their names were listed previously on the beginning of this presentation. Also in your coat pockets, you will find a letter that was written to you from a practicing pharmacist congratulating you on your large accomplishment. We would like to thank the pharmacist who wrote all these letters as well. You will also find a packet of four clinical toolkits donated by the Pharmacist Society of Wisconsin. These toolkits provide clinical information on four distinct disease states to help guide practicing pharmacists and student pharmacists as they care for patients. The rest of the materials found in your pockets were kindly donated by student organizations to help you along the way in pharmacy school and your future practice. We would like to recognize the dedicated staff who helped in planning and preparation of today's ceremony. Anna Reinhardt, Lindsay Weigel, Alyssa Karnacki, Professor Karen Kapasik, and Professor David Mott, who went above and beyond to ensure that the first year students had a white coat ceremony to remember.
Lastly, we would like to thank all our attendees watching their live stream for joining us this afternoon. I am sure that each and every one of you has played a role in helping a student get to this point in their journey to becoming a Badger Pharmacist. Students, we hope you will remember this day for years to come. The live stream will be saved and available to watch through the School of Pharmacy website. We hope you have an enjoyable rest of your day celebrating. All right, and this concludes our white coat ceremony. Thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. If you all want to unmute and give each other a hand of a round of applause, that is <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.